in this lesson we will see what is a shapes and what is a splines in shapes we we get the splines so i start with line this is a simple line if you click click you will get a line and if you say right click it will be off so i'll just make it another if you click and if you press shift it will be an angle snap it will be a very straight so click you will get a straight line if you release the shift button you will you can move anywhere anywhere any any angle but if you press shift you will have 90 degrees angle like this see this one i'll press escape to cancel it done so these are called 2d shapes basically these shapes doesn't render so it doesn't have any uh, 3d objects in it so we have to build one with the extrude modifier so for that i'll show you if i'll make press shift shift and if i open keep it open like this and i'll go to modify and in modify modifier list i'll press e on my keyboard that is a extrude if you click on extrude and if you go and increase the amount this is the hollow box we are getting because it's not closed shape so when you close this shape i'll take on again this one this one this one and just press so this message will come if you want to close this spline yes i want to and then you go to modify and go to modify list and press e on your keyboard to get the extrude option so this is the extrude and click on extrude so this is the whole box and this is the extrude amount so the reason behind this if you leave this box open it, this box will uh, extrude like this only external uh, plates will be there it will not it will be hollow and this will be a full box so if you see here i'll take a rectangle now i'll press g on my keyboard to remove this uh, grid now it's much more better to see i'll go and click on the rectangle second option so i'll go to again modify and if you see there is a option length width and third is radius corner what is that i'll just zoom this top i'll zoom this top like if you press middle mouse button scroll down you can get the zoom like this or you can use this tool as well and for pan press middle mouse button to get a pan so if you see corner radius you can get see this is the what it gets a fillet on the corners so this is the what corner radius and again if you go to extrude and press e on your keyboard you will get something like this i mean the splines are very very useful in architectural very useful as well as architectural engineering or making mechanical things so it's very 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 handy tools and i'll show you again circle now i'll go to modify i'll say extrude and i have make made a shortcut but i'll show you how to make that also so this is what now shapes if you see arc this is a arc and this doesn't uh you know we won't don't want to close it so you can say the radius from to to this is the arc and gone go to modify these are the options radius increase and decrease inscribed sides come down with the sides triangle corner radius again we can add the fillet to the corners
text is a beautiful option if you click on text like this you will get a text and you can directly write it so you can directly go to modify you can say extrude and this is what you will get you can change the font as well whichever font you have in your pc you can change it from here you can change the size or directly you can scale like this it's not a problem kerning it's the same word processing things leading if you have paragraphs like this and if you want distance between the sentences vertically so this is the leading so this is the text and uh, seen the rectangle ellipse same extrude this is what extrude then star radius 1 can increase this like this radius 1 radius 2 points if you want more points to the star distortion this is very good option see it's how much distort distorting and radius 1 and radius 2 fillet you go to modify and say extrude this is what we get so if you want more smoothness we will get on star and say more smoothness like this so this is what we get so then helix it's a spiral kind of thing you can have height you can have turns you can have radius so the small option i will show you in this thing we have we have same option in every one so if you see this is a rendering option in splines if you click rendering option there is a enable render and enable in viewport so if you see this is this is uh, going to be thick you can increase the thickness like this and absolutely we can turn it into into mesh so this is what also we can do this is radial this is rectangle so this is what we can get angle you can see each and every one if you if you click anything and go to modify see there is an option called rendering so just you have to go and say enable in renderer and enable in viewport so you can see that if you don't enable in viewport you will not get the thickness in viewport but still we have not shown the render option but later on in next lessons we will see that so this is the thickness you can get this is the sides you can get see this is the sides if you press f4 we have discussed the sides uh, techniques what is the basically segments do so this is the sides increases you get the smoothness and of course this is the angle but we don't see because it's a cellular and i'll just click this shape i'll just shift it to right so now the option is section section gen generally word is used in architectural world sectional drawing section of of anything so what basically section does if you drag section anywhere in viewport something like here I'll just get rid of all those things because I don't want to write it now and can say section so if you drag anywhere section it's not a problem but if you see if you just say select in the option go to modify star yes extrude is there fine so 
selecting this section i'll just make shift that slightly on by the y direction if you see when i am moving the same something is there in this object so this is called in between section if you want to get that section what how it looks from inside you can go to modify and say create shape and you can name it i'll say test shape i'll say okay and now i'll just delete this section and i just slide this mesh you will get this called as a section called test shape which i have given a name so again if you go and say extrude it will extrude as well so this is what the section does so in next lesson we will see what are the kinds of selection what are types of selection how you select the object what is the name we can select this object in next lesson thank you